Hey guys, Michael Sherlock here from michaelsherlock.com. This video I'm going to walk you through some of the new features in Microsoft's Word 2010. Now there will be a corresponding blog post at michaelsherlock.com and the link will be in the description of this video that I suggest you check out because there will be uh, some features that I did not mention in this video on that blog post as well as features that I find down the road that I want to show you. So the first thing I want to show you is the ability for Microsoft for Word to take screenshots directly from you know the browse the interface so first I need to open up something to take a screenshot of so we'll go to YouTube go to the revived one alright so now in the insert up here go to insert then you go to screenshot and you can either take the entire screenshot of that so you can press it and then you can change it a little bit with these effects so you can make it circular add a border make a little postage stamp out of it which is cool you could add artistic effects, color, all that. So I'll show you the artistic effects because this is a different thing that you have that another new feature is the artistic effects. So besides doing all that cool stuff, you can add things such as, and these are mostly, some of them are pretty cool, light screen, you could add glass, you could invert the colors, glow edges is what it's called. You could do a photocopy, and there's other things such as check sketch, blur, paint strokes, glow diffused. So artistic effects are a new thing in Word, and it allows you to really mess around more with the pictures and your images, and just makes it kind of cool. But to go back to screenshots, another feature, again, if you go back to screenshot, you can press it, but then you can also do screen clipping. So if you don't want to take a picture of the entire thing, you just want to highlight the top part of something you can go ahead and do that again you have the artistic effects you can compress the pictures change picture reset there's some corrections you can do depending on brightness and contrast you can sharpen it up you can sh blur it out a little bit soften so they did a lot with pictures and they didn't stop there actually they also have something called smart art and SmartArt allows you is improved charts and diagrams and allows you to build diagrams in minutes because sometimes instead of just having a list view you know having that graphic is something that will increase the power of what you're saying and also uh, there's ability for you to transform bullets to visuals but I'm just going to show you a quick thing so you have all list process cycle hierarchy relationships matrix pyramid or picture uh, let's just show you a pyramid I guess we can just press this thing right here press OK and then you have some really cool uh, thing you have here. So if you were doing something, I guess, science related, you could do consumer. Well, actually, that's not right. It would be producer on the bottom. Consumer. And this would be a secondary consumer as well. But now you have a pretty cool diagram. So instead of having it in a bullet list, you can have it like this. And it just adds some more power to what you're saying, which is really cool. Another thing they've improved on is the spell checker. So now they have a context sensitive spell checker that corrects the words that are spelled correctly but used incorrectly. So there's a lot of words that are, they sound the same, so you may mis mix, mix them up like to or there. So I'm just going to show you who owns the toy over there. Alright, so I just retyped it who owns the toy over there. If you right click on that, it realizes, hey, there's not correct, and you can cl click the correct version of there. And then it'll also show you, you need a question mark there. So, improved spell checker, that context sensitive spell checker is really useful, particularly for younger people that may mix up on words like there, to, etc. And it's just a cool improvement to have. They've also in improved word art, so let's just write word art. We'll go ahead and put that to a bigger font so it's easier for you to see and you can just press the text effects button and you have all these cool new effects for words you can add shadows and it's all a live preview as you can see in the background you could add reflections to this so you could do ahead and add a reflection there let's say you liked this font uh, and let's say you wanted to add some glow action now that's some pretty cool font uh, and it's not a Photoshop thing, and you'd think, oh, with all the reflection and all that, you may have to use Photoshop to make a title like that, just a quick Photoshop uh, thing. But they have it built into Word. So 
you know, taking screenshots, editing different things for your pictures, messing around with text so it looks really cool. Word is trying to add all these different things that you had to go to separate applications to do and try to streamline your document process, which is, you know, really nice of them to do. Another thing I want to mention is mobile document support. There's going to be a Word web application so you can edit your documents wherever you are. And there's also going to be a Microsoft Word mobile 2010 application for Windows Mobile that allows you to do the same thing. And another thing that I can't really show you, I don't have any documents right now to show you, but they've also improved search. So instead of just searching through the text, it can also search through graphics, footnotes, tables, and comments to make it easier. So another thing they've added which was in pages 2000 whatever I showed you that in pages is some language translation so I can say hello my name is Michael and there you go that's the English version of it if, but if we select that text we can right click and choose translate and over here then we can choose to translate it into different things so we can translate it into let's say Spanish so we can insert it in the different language let's say we want it in Dutch so there's language translation and it makes it really cool because a lot of people are taking languages particularly in high schools you know that's gonna that's gonna be something that's required so to be able to type in that language and maybe if you don't know something translate it in it's a really cool feature and something that is just really nice to have so the last thing I want to show you is another image thing we're gonna we're gonna need to insert a picture though so we'll bring in this test image it's my Twitter icon it's actually the ability for you to remove the background. So I'm going to show you how this works. All right. So when you're done, just click done and it'll do that. Now, this is just an example of it not working the way you want it to because it's more of a complex image, but you do have a little bit more control than what I just showed you. So you can go ahead and do that, but then using these mark to include, you can include different things. So let's say you wanted to include the neck area and maybe like that whatever and then mark to remove so let's say you wanted to remove the nose for one thing you could go ahead and do that and it would try to keep the hair in and it would remove the nose because you marked it as such and it just makes it it's not as good automatic when you're doing with more complex things, but if you take your time, you can use the buttons mark to include and mark to remove to get it exactly how you want it. And in a lot of cases, since this is a Word document and not necessarily something you're sending out for print, you know, you can be a little more general with what you're marking and it still will come out fine. So from screenshots to removing background to from artistic effects to their new charts with smart art graphics, improved search and language translations, Office 2010, or in this case, just Word 2010, is turning out to be a really cool application and a pretty big upgrade over the previous versions of Word, in my opinion. No Word yet on a Mac version. I doubt Word 2010 will be for the Mac. Uh, they had Word 2007 for Windows and 2008 for Mac, so we may see a 2011 or 12 version for the Mac, and Linux, of course, is not supported at this point by Microsoft. So uh, this is just the technical preview. I didn't download it illegally or whatever you may be thinking. I am in part of that tech program. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Have a nice day, guys.